This is a 2019 Chevrolet Colorado Z71. We'd like to thank our friends at Chevrolet of Mankato for loaning us this beautiful 2019 Colorado Z71. Hey folks, I'm Rob. I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. Today we're taking a look at this beautiful 2019 Chevrolet Colorado and this is a Z71 trim edition. If you'd like to keep up with uh, all the new cars and trucks and SUVs and you want to know all the latest vehicle technologies and you love cool collector cars, take a second to hit that subscribe button below and ring that bell notification so you never miss a video. So what do you say Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, so we are out. And about. about. And about, that's right. And on a ride. This is what, Rob? Uh, it's a truck. A truck. <laughs> a truck. You got to say it southern. A truck. truck. Tr tr I can't even say that. <laughs> truck. It's, no, this is the uh, 2019 uh, Chevrolet Colorado, and this is, I think this, yeah, this is the Z71 Crew, and this is, I think, the Midnight Edition is what uh, they told us. It's like black truck. on black. Yeah, yeah. Very sharp looking truck on yeah, the outside. Yeah, it, it is. I like the lines. I like the seats. They're an interesting mixture of uh, leather and cloth. Yeah, leather trim on the outside, and then just the seat uh, part where your rear end and your back touch, uh, you've got the cloth. And it's a kind of pattern to it. I'll take a picture of that and we'll show that. They are heated seats. And you actually have a few features. You can have the bottom and the back heated or just the back. Yeah. So there's two buttons down there. I'll show you during our interior review. Beautiful. But spaciousness, I um, haven't sat in the back yet, but if it's like every other pickup we've been in, even though this is the smaller of the GMC pickups, there's going to be oodles of room. Right. Head space, leg space, hip space, everything. But in the front, I can tell you, it's, it's very comfortable. Um, so it's got, yeah, it's got power lumbar, it's got uh, back and forth, up and down, and then, but your recline is manual. Okay. But you know, it's well, it's well insulated. We're driving a truck with pretty aggressive wheels and tire package. There's, there's very little road noise. Right. It's, the cabin's quite tight. You got a nice view of the road. You got you got a few lines in the hood, which are nice, uh, but you really have a good view of the road. It isn't in your way at all. Well, I like the dashboard layout because the instrument panel and the um, infotainment system, which you'll go over later, they look familiar to what we've seen in the Blazer, the Chevy truck, yeah. the GMC vehicles. Uh, so if you've driven one, it's very familiar to pop, pop right into one of these and uh, you know where everything basically is. There's some, been some updates and some a few menu changes, I'm sure, but overall it's very familiar. And that's kind of cool because if, you're, you know, if you move from one Chevrolet to another, it's nice not to have to rethink and relearn every time you get in and out of a vehicle. It just fall, right. everything falls to hand and is familiar because you're familiar with that brand and they haven't changed a lot. It's a, it's a good, commonsensical layout. Now, not only is the ride quiet, and very dampened inside the cab, but the ride is comfortable for a pickup. You, yeah. you, you feel, you know, the, the, the bigger bumps, but we're going over these little tarred up strips on the road and you don't hear the familiar click, click, click as you go over them, you don't even hear that. One of the things I noticed right away, I, you know, I kind of drove it to our test spot. Uh, yeah, before. he stole it from me. <laughs> he just hopped in and said, here's your key, see ya. Uh, Nathan usually gets to drive them first and I just like, nope, nope, it's mine. 
But what I noticed right away is for a truck, it's extremely maneuverable. The, the power steering on it is mm -hmm. just rightly boosted to, uh, you still feel the road, which I love because I enjoy driving, but it's, uh, it's very maneuverable in town. It doesn't feel like you're driving a truck. No. Uh, no. And that's one of the things I think we've noticed on, on all the different brands that we've tested, the, yeah. the little, the, uh, their small trucks. They are very comfortable and very maneuverable, so it's right on par with the other vehicles out there. Yep. Rear seat, oh, rear seat reminder. So when you got kids back there, that's cool. Yeah. Nathan's playing with the infotainment. System, so, so if you have the rear seat reminders on, when you get out of the vehicle and lock it, if it senses any movement in the back, then it sets off a, a reminder. So with the remote start, you also can have auto, um, Defog and out of rear defog. Oh, how about that? That's cool. And then you mm -hmm. can also preset your fan speed. Yeah. Which is which is a cool feature, especially in where we live. I mean, here we go. We're gonna take back off. We're safely past. Back up to highway speed. And there we go. There we go. Ninety-six miles an hour. <laughs> no. Oh. oh, I read that wrong. It was yes. okay. Mm, this is nice. I mean, on all modern infotainment systems, you can, and you can update your your whole infotainment system wirelessly, so from home. So you just say, "I'm oh, going to check for okay. an update." So we will use your Wi-Fi at home. Correct. You don't okay. have to go to a dealer. Or well, anything. that's what I was wondering because, because they're all software based. I mean, they're basically just a computer. I know. Ah, uh, how you about can, that? You can connect your home Wi-Fi. Available. That's so cool. And then, up, you know, uh, download updates on your car. And you can make it automatic. Would you so you park the car in the things? garage and you just leave it. Yeah, yeah. And it will connect to your home Wi-Fi well, as long as you set it up. You got to have this on, I imagine. No, I don't think so. If you're, if you're, if it's not powered, the car's not powered. Wouldn't you have to have the like the accessory or the car running? Probably over your Wi-Fi too. It'd be pretty quick to update. So I don't. Take I, more I, than five I, minutes or so. I don't know. Okay. I mean, think about this. If you press update on your phone, right, you can shut it off and leave it. Go do something else for an hour, come back, turn it back on, and it's ready to go. Well, but your phone is still on. You just right, but you the, just shut off the screen. Co correct. Did However, I your, did I blow your mind? No. <laughs> Why couldn't this have access to the battery? Yeah, true. I don't know. That's a well, good thing to while, look up. I mean, intelligent use, right? While it's downloading, it. If you know, leave us some comments below. Hey, that's a good idea. So, <laughs> will the truck connect to Wi-Fi at your home when the vehicle is shut off? All right. Next up, outside review, then Nathan's and inside, the inside review. review. Chevrolet Colorado starts at 21300 This is a Z71 crew cab short box, and this one is stickered at 41740 this vehicle is powered by a 3.6 liter V6 engine, double overhead cam. It produces 308 horsepower, 275 foot-pound of torque at 4,000 RPMs. It is direct fuel injection and variable valve timing, and that helps to optimize power and efficiency. It does have an 8-speed automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, auto track two-speed transfer case, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, Stabilitrack electronic stability control with traction control. Up front, you do have halogen headlights with automatic on-off features. And you do have, I'll show you, they're up underneath there, so I'm gonna have to get the camera and take it down there. You do have black tow hooks. Okay, you do have body colored power outside mirrors and you have body colored door handles. You have a body colored rear bumper. There we go. Black tailgate handle. Locking tailgate. Cab mounted cargo area lights. And one of my favorite features, to get, it makes it easy getting in out of the bed, you've got the uh, corner step rear bumper. Now on this vehicle, you do have 
20 inch black painted wheels and they are in P255 55R20 all season black wall tires. And this does have a 3.42 ratio um, rear axle. Fuel capacity is 21 gallons with fuel economy of 17 city, 24 highway, and 19 combined. Wheelbase is 128.3 inches. Overall length, 212.7 inches. Width without the mirrors, 74.3 inches. Overall height is 70.6 inches. The front overhang, 36.9 inches. The rear overhang, 47.2 inches. Ground clearance front, 8.2 inches. Ground clearance rear, 8.2 inches. Now ground to the top of the load floor. Let me show you that real quick. I'll drop the tailgate. It is a soft drop tailgate as well. But the ground to the top of the uh, load floor and the tailgate, you're looking at uh, 34.5 inches. Now the cargo box width, the floor, at the floor, is 57.8 inches and the cargo box width between the wheel housings is 44.4 inches. Maximum payload capacity is 2,000 74 pounds and the curb weight of this vehicle is 3,997 pounds. I like what they've done with the bed. You do have the sprayed in or manufactured in actually uh, bed liner which is nice. You don't have to add that as an aftermarket issue. And then you've got uh, wall cleats kind of wall cutouts and wheel housing cutouts that you can place two by fours or two by sixes there to give you multi-level storage. You do see the power sliding uh, and heated uh, rear sliding window. I like that and I do like the uh, plastic bed caps here and here as well. You do have the four seven pin uh, trailer connector with the trailer hitch. This is only a single exhaust vehicle. Overall, the styling is pretty conservative. It is a pickup truck, but it does have a few lines on it. I'll try to show them here. It's kind of a really, really sunny day, so I've got a little bit of glare, but um, I like the Z71 badging there on the side. Walk around the front. Headlight design is uh, basic, but it's very functional. You've got your fog lights down below, and I like the blackout grill with the black Chevy bow tie. It's really nice as well. I like a couple of the cut lines there that give you a little bit of uh, structural rigidity in the hood. Now on the side, I do like the fender well, how it goes over here. You've got the uh, flat uh, lines and um, around the fender wheel arches. And then you've got the blackout around the window frames. I like that. I like the uh, black on black on black. It's a uh, cool looking vehicle. The one accessory definitely I would add, Nathan and I were talking about that we would put steps on the side there, step rails, uh, make it a little bit easier getting in and out of the vehicle. I do like that. I just noticed that this does have this little front um, mud flap there as well on the front of the tire on the bed. Overall, a lot of utility there. You've got a lot of cubic feet. It is the short box. You can get a longer box on this but uh, it looks just right. It's set just right. I like the stance of it, uh, being that it is a Z71 off-road package. It does set it up quite a bit. Makes it look really neat. Okay. So I know Nathan's gonna come over here in just a second. Tell me that's enough of me rambling on because he wants to take you for a tour of the inside. So... Are you still yakking? Yeah, I'm still yakking, but I'll come let on. him take you for a tour on the inside. And I'll then, show you the good stuff. Yeah, he's gonna show you the fun stuff. He's gonna go in and turn on it's the air conditioning. He's got a motor. <laughs> now let's go see what it's really all about. All right, Nathan, all yours. All right, come on in. Stepping on to the inside on the driver's side here of the 2019 Chevy Colorado Z71 pickup. Uh, we've got auto up and down, all four windows, which is very nice. You got your mirror controls right here. Up here uh, with your the silver chrome door handle with the black finish looks really nice. You're on lock and lock buttons. Down here, you've got a storage tray, a small one, but then down here, you've got another one along with a bottle holder right there, okay? Uh, stepping down here to the driver's seat, I told you on the drive that you've got some manual controls and some power. So, 
your power of course is here and it's forward backwards this tilts the whole seat backwards or forwards and then of course down and up it's an interesting one. You can see the seat rise right here. And then you, can, of course, have power lumbar. This is for your recline. All right, moving on down here. You got your hood release down here. You do have a foot activated emergency brake. And then moving up here, you do have auto lights. And this is, of course, your switch for that. And you have your four wheel drive selector. All right, moving up a little bit further, this has got a trailing package on it, so you do have the brake adjusters for the trailer. Now this is a physical key. So we'll put it in there. Ooh, pretty lights. I always like it when those dials go all the way around. So this is your, your dashboard, and you've uh, got an analog RPM, you've got an analog speedometer, analog fuel gauge, and temperature gauge. Then the driver's information center in the middle operates off of these cursors right here. Okay? Th this curse, this uh, icon is for your voice activated um, features on the car. And then this is your phone hang up. Over here on the left, you have got uh, cruise control on or off. You can cancel cruise control. You can resume, you can set. And then of course you can increase or decrease your cruise control speed. This does come with one of our favorite features, a heated steering wheel. All right, let's take a look at this infotainment center here. So the infotainment system in here is an eight inch screen and comes with six speakers. Here. So uh, basically you have audio, phone, Wi-Fi hotspot. You can pre-program different users in here. So things, when you start the car, certain things will automatically come on. You've got uh, apps you can get, Android Auto capable, Apple CarPlay capable, and then you can go into settings. And then of course you have OnStar services, the climate, and then you can make some camera adjustments. The other thing you have down here is just, you have short icons. So down here you've got your, um, your music icon, your phone icon, your OnStar directions, and of course your climate control. Here's your 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot signal, tells you the outdoor temperature, and then of course the time. Moving on down here, you have physical controls for the infotainment center. You have power on off. You've got the volume switch here. You've got, uh, you can rotate through different stations right here, which I like if you're on the radio, it just automatically pops up and does it. Um, if you're on the home screen, you can rotate between the different apps. And then when you get to one, you can press this check mark. Uh, you got a physical home button here, physical back button, and of course, either skip forward or skip backwards. This, of course, is uh, nothing doesn't do anything moving on down to the climate control system I really like how um, Chevy has started putting these uh, all these digital displays in uh, in the dials I, I like that um, so here's my fan speed you can see it increasing hey okay. down here I have the power on or off over here this is this does have climate automatic climate control hey it is not dual zone but it is automatic climate control so I can turn that auto feature on right there. And then of course to turn it off like any other vehicle, you gotta turn, just grab your fan and turn it down. And then it dies down. Okay, you got your recirculatory system, your defrosters front and rear, and then of course your mode settings right there. Moving on down, I like these buttons. Uh, these are push down, uh, push down buttons. We've seen some vehicles that it's only a push up. These are a little different, they're pushed down. This is a trailer mode, so basically takes out overdrive, takes off overdrive when you're pulling a trailer. Traction control on or off, hazards. Here you can, um, if you look on the back, it says cargo lamps enabled and cargo lamps disabled. So you can turn them on or off from there. You have hill descent control, and if you turn that one on, you'll notice a little green emblem on the left, and then you can adjust the speed of hill descent control using your plus and minus of your cruise control. All right, and then uh, last of the buttons right here is we have parking sensors in the rear in which we can turn off or we can turn off. And you will get a message in your driver's information center that you've turned them off or on. This does come with uh, heated seats. And so you've got either two choices. You can heat the back and the bottom 
or you can heat just the back. And that is the same on both sides. So you got a little storage cubby down here. You got a 12 volt outlet down here. You have got two USBs that will connect into your Apple CarPlay Android Auto along with a 3.5 millimeter jack. And then you have a storage tray down here. Okay, the surface, the touch down here is a little slippery, uh, but certainly sizable to hold things. Coming up here, you've got two cup holders, which are generous in size. And then of course your shift lever. And this has got the little button on the, on the uh, front side of it. So you just pull it and then you can shift. Another feature that I really like besides the heated steering wheel is the wireless phone charger right here. Looking down here in the center arm console, we do have some very deep storage. That is not a 12 volt outlet. That's just a, a, a dummy button, dummy cover. I'm assuming you could get a 12 volt outlet brought up through there. Hey, okay. and then moving over to the glove compartment here. Let's open that up. And you've got a very spacious glove compartment. Moving up to the mirror, we have an automatic dimming rear view mirror. And of course you have your safety systems here, your SOS and your OnStar. And then moving up here a little bit further, you have all of your uh, light controls up here. You can set the lights to be on or off as to depending on whether the door is open or not. It's a it's an interesting switch. It looks like three separate buttons. It is not to turn all the lights on. You click it to the right, and to set them so that they will come on when the door is open, you put them just right in the middle. And if you don't want the lights to come on when you open the door, you click it all the way to the left. All right then, back here, of course, you have a glass holder. The sun visors are lit on both sides. And they are telescoping. I should mention the steering wheel is also manually, also has manual tilt and uh, telescoping. And that lever is located, let's see, where did it go? It's right, right there. Okay, so now we're gonna step into the back and take a look at what's there. Here we have got the pretty much the same things we see on the front doors. Okay, a little little lighter, uh, sort of a gray color to uh, match the black here. Got the same kind of chrome door handle, same type of storage pockets, just a little bit smaller. Okay, moving over here, you've got one seat back pocket on the passenger side. And then in the center, you've got um, two USB ports here, and they are charge only. And then you have a 12 volt outlet right there along with a little pocket storage it's not real deep but you could you could sit something in there uh, in order to um, move these seats for more storage uh, what you can do is you can pull let me show it right here you can push this lever up and then this seat will fold up and then you push pull the lever again to put it down let me show you what it looks like underneath all right so there it is put up and underneath you've got some very nice storage um, Chevy has put uh, some nice pockets in here uh, and actually this one would be this one would be accessible with the seat down so that's kind of really nice and then of course you've got some it looks like probably your jack um, extension handles underneath here and, uh, and then some more stores that's kind of hidden you can also put down the backs of the seats and this is a 60 40 split so what I do is I push the button on the headrest first okay then I pull this little tag and the seat simply folds forward, All right? And then you do have a little tiny bit of storage right back in here. And both seats do the same thing. You do have a center armrest, which I really like. You got a nice cup holder right here. Then in the back, you have a manual, manually sliding rear window. All right, so here I am in the back of the 2019 Colorado, and you can see from my knees, the seat is, it was left. Uh, Rob actually drove it over here. And so I do have about an inch of space, okay, which is not bad for us. This is the small Chevy pickup, so this is not bad. And Rob is taller than me, all right? So that's not too bad. Uh, as far as headroom goes, I've got plenty. I've got several inches up here, okay? 
And uh, as far as comfort goes, the seats are, are a little more upright than maybe in the bigger pickups, uh, but they are comfortable and they give you some good leg support. All right, and then finally, up right up here, you of course have individual reading lights for the passengers in the rear. All right, and that is our review of the 2019 Chevy Colorado. Okay, my favorite thing on this vehicle is this corner bumper step. That is a super nice feature for actually being able to adequately use and access the um, the bed easily without uh, even with or without the tailgate down. Uh, that's really cool. You got a good good amount of room in there, so that's really cool. I like that. That is my favorite thing. All right, so my favorite thing on this vehicle has to be the wireless charger, and that is right here. The Colorado Z71 Crew Cab Short Box starts at, uh, this will actually cut. Commonsensical. Yes, you like that? Sensical. I don't. <laughs> it makes that, sense. That, that must be in the dictionary somewhere. It's, it's right after truck. <laughs> <laughs> they have massaging seats. Ooh, rumble strips. <laughs> rumble strips of the highway. Sorry. Are you getting a jump on all the technology for your review? Well, I can't sit in the car very long without playing with the buttons, so...